We'd all love to have Batman's utility belt full of tricks, but there's a few items that we'd rather leave behind. You're right, honey. There was somebody walking up the wall. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the dumbest Batman gadgets. I'll give him a bat gas. Oh, what's that? The bat gas? A harmless anesthetic. From movies to animated series, video games, and comics, these are hands down the worst, most ridiculous, exceedingly silly gadgets the Caped Crusader has ever employed in his crime-fighting career. Number 10, Bat Flamethrower. These were dark days. Bane not only broke the bat's back, but with it, his spirit and confidence. In the Nolanverse, Gotham fell under Bane's control, but in the comic book storyline, the mantle of the Bat was taken up by Jean-Paul Valley, who defeated Bane. Say hello to the world's craziest, most hyper-violent, gadget-obsessed Batman. Seriously, this guy's brutality could put Tim Burton's Batman to shame. We could do a whole list of bad Azrael Batman gadgets, but his flamethrower attachment is definitely the worst. For a generally non-lethal Batman master of stealth, how is this effective? Also, not a great idea with people shooting at you. Number 9. Mirror Mask Let's forget how ridiculous this mask looks for a second and just consider it from a practical standpoint. What purpose could it serve? It was in a convoluted plot involving Mirror Man, and this was Batman's defense against the villain's ability to see through costumes. Honestly, it's best not to think about it too much. It's a cowl made of mirrors. And while we can blame its shoddy appearance on the fact that the style of art from the time is clearly not detail-oriented, it looks like Batman went to the closest public washroom, punched the mirror, collected the shards, and hastily glued them to his face. You gotta visualize. Visualize? What the heck does that mean? Number 8, Batpoon. Tee hee. After so many decades of Batman stories, one thing has become clear. He has a bit of an ego problem. Look, we love the guy, but it's a bit silly that he insists on attaching the word bat to everything he touches. <laughs> If your buddy Tom called his skateboard the Tom board, or his sandwich the Tom witch, would you let that slide? No. This is extraordinary. It's absolutely extraordinary. We accept it because he's Batman, and for the most part, it winds up sounding cool. Batarang, Bat Claw, both awesome. Bat Copter, not bad. Bat Poon? That sounds like the term alternate reality misogynist rock star Batman would use to describe his bat groupies. Let's just call it a harpoon, no matter who's using it. Number 7, Batman's Robot Guardian. The Caped Crusader himself was not a fan of this gadget that an alien ally gifted to him. It was supposed to help him in his dangerous self-imposed quest against crime in Gotham, by swooping in and saving him when things got too treacherous. Unfortunately, the Robot Guardian was a little overzealous in his mandate, repeatedly getting in Batman's way and saving him when he really didn't need saving. So what did Batman finally have to do about it? Fake his own death, making the robot think it failed. It short-circuited and died on the spot. What a piece of crap. Number six, Napalm Capsule. Life's a bitch, now so am I. Wait, did you catch that? It was real quick, so we'll show you again. That is apparently the Napalm Capsule. This is problematic for a number of reasons. First of all, Napalm Capsule is a horribly inaccurate name for this thing, although that's the only name we've been able to find in our research. You see, Napalm does two things. It sticks to you, and it burns you to death. Note that neither of these things happen here. So basically, this uh, slip and slide glow stick that Batman uses on Catwoman could have been called the Bat Water Balloon and it would have been more accurate. But hey, Napalm Capsule does sound kinda cool in a war crimey kinda way. Charlie, listen to me! You're keeping us alive now! So you forget about that one! And you keep them coming in, you're doing well, son! Number five, plastic lips. To disappoint you, but. Rubber lips are immune to your charms. Well, at least he didn't call them bat lips. This gadget isn't used by Batman himself, but rather his sidekick, Robin. Robin, as played by Chris O'Donnell, is clearly not the brilliant inventive type. Joel Schumacher, on the other hand, dumb idea, city. Population, Batman and Robin. You get the ice, I'll get the ice man. The male members of the Bat family are notorious for their habit of romancing female villains. Batman has Catwoman, so why can't Robin steal a kiss from Poison Ivy? One kiss, my love. Usually because her lips are poisonous, but aha! He's wearing a lip condom. Joke's on you, Uma Thurman. You're not the only one who can set a trap, Venus. Sorry. 
My vines have a crush on you. Number four, Batman's robotic T-Rex. This gadget is often thought of more as a trophy. Wait, how does Batman have such large trophies in a secret lair? Don't think about it, it's a rant for another day. The T-Rex was explained in Batman number 35, released in 1946, when Batman is invited to go hunting for charity on Dinosaur Island. Fear not animal activists, because they're all animatronic. Batman's big robotic game trophy usually just stands there, but as Alfred proved in Detective Comics number 850 when Hush broke into the Batcave, the T-Rex is more than just a keepsake, it's a fully functional, very large gadget that can be used to defend the Batcave. From silly origins to ridiculous remote control guard dog, it's kinda hard to take it seriously. Number 3, Bat Ice Skates. Joel Schumacher strikes again. From the filmmaker who publicly apologized to fans for his film comes another appalling gadget. We're not saying they didn't come in handy, we're just saying that a substantial amount of work must have gone into fitting a set of retractable skates into the soles of Batman and Robin's respective footwear. We appreciate that the dynamic duo always come prepared, but this was some real Nostradamus shit right there. Freeze is definitely a villain who takes creativity in order to take down as the Batman Arkham City video games prove brilliantly. Given me your last order. This is not a time for negotiation. In this film, however, Batman meets Freeze on his own terms. Hockey brawl Batman? Derp, why not? Oh. I got mine. Where's yours? Number two, shark repellent bat spray. Hand me down the shark repellent bat spray. <laughs> No way were we going to leave out this classic 60s Batman gadget. This show went for a decidedly more campy, lighthearted take on Batman, and it made Sunday mornings fun. If you're looking to introduce your kids to Batman without risk of scaring them, this is probably the place to start. We need to draw a line at shark repellent, however. Holy sardine! When a shark latches onto Batman's leg during a daring high seas operation, Robin is forced to pull a pretty badass maneuver to get Batman the least badass gadget in history. Contrary to popular belief, the repellent is actually non-lethal, as the shark blowing up was part of the penguin's sinister plan. Number one, bat credit card. Five million. That's a utility belt, not a money belt. Six million. Seven million. We all know that this film was just an excuse to sell toys, but that doesn't mean they needed to turn the entire movie into one big parody of the previous films in the series. Why not just title the movie Batman and Robin? Can you tell we don't care? I call this little number Bane. Bane of humanity! Batman has a secret identity. The very notion of him having a credit card is idiotic. And the way he just whips the thing out, he thinks he's being so frickin' cool. Never leave the cave without it. You two boys aren't gonna start fighting over little old me now, are you? Are we to believe that the Batcave has a billing address? It's such a black mark on the character's history, and Schumacher, you will never live this down. Man, we really hate this movie. Enough monkey business. We've got work to do. <sighs> monkey work. Do you agree with our list? What Batman gadget makes you cringe at their mere mention? If I can just reverse the polarity. For more notorious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Bat centrifuge at 32,000 RPMs. Increase angstrom force in vector x. Vector x up one notch. 